welcome everybody. It's time to shine. Time to shine poi tutorial. I've got my poi here. They're actually just long socks with um, a tennis ball inside. So you can make your own at home. And But before we get on to swinging these around and looking fantastic with the poi, we're just gonna take a little bit of time to warm up. Time to shine, time to warm up. So make sure you're in a bit of a space. You're not gonna knock any books off the shelf, glasses off the kitchen. Um, and just give your shoulders a little uh, stretch or a little roll and stretch up and have a yawn and bend your knees and then take one arm and take one arm and let's just with one arm make big circles forwards and big circles backwards and then we'll take the other arm big circles forwards and big circles backwards We'll put those together, big circles forwards and big circles backwards. And then if we're clever, and this is pretty tricky, but you could try it anyway. We'll try one arm going forwards as one arm goes backwards. You got that? Coming round, one arm forwards, one arm backwards. Change direction, one arm forwards, one arm backwards, there we go. If you can do that, that'll really help with the poi later. But as I said, it is pretty tricky. So here's the sock poi. They're really long, these socks. And if I'm just going to swing them, yeah, like this, then they're going to knock things off wherever you are. So shorten them down to a suitable short length, and then we're ready to swing. So the first step we're going to take is a bit like um, having a skipping rope, and I'm swinging a skipping rope. There we go. I'll practice my skipping. There we go, there's the first move. And the poi are just swinging round in circles. It's a bit like I'm in a glass corridor, a corridor with two glass walls either side of me. And I want those poi to follow the same line as the glass wall. So that one's doing that hand, that hand's doing that hand, that hand's doing it like that, and this hand's doing the same thing. And it's a bit like we're skipping. And if I can do it forwards, I can also make them go backwards. Okay, back to forwards. And if I can do them at the same time, they're going together, I can make them one follow the other. So one goes in front and then the other one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One's following the other, still following the lines of my glass corridor. One, two, one, two, one after the other, one chasing the other. I should be able to do that backwards as well. One chasing the other, backwards. Now, if I'm clever, I'll try one forwards, one backwards. So this arm's gonna go forwards and this arm is gonna swing backwards. And there we are, swinging one forwards and one backwards. I'm just turning my whole corridor around to face the front now. So we've got our glass corridor coming towards you. Here's my, here's my skipping. And now what I'm gonna do is try and do a cross like this. Um, so to avoid banging myself on the nose when we're learning, I'm just going to do it with one hand and it's really good. We've all got a dominant hand and a not so dominant hand. It's always good to try and do it with your not so dominant hand first. So if you're right handed, try learning with your left hand. So here we go. Swinging. Here's my skipping. I imagine I'm doing it with this hand and then I'm going to cross and go back to skipping. Both hands are cross and back to skipping. Both hands across and back to skipping. Let's switch hands. Skipping and across and back to skipping. And across and back to skipping. And when you're doing this, it's really good if you alternate which hand crosses on top. So right hand on top, left hand on top. Right hand on top, left hand on top. Let's see if we can put that together. Well, into two poi. Here we go. Two poi, skipping and cross and back to skipping. Left hand on top, back to skipping and right hand on top and bash your hat. And left hand across, back to skipping and right hand on top and back to skipping. Now, what happens if I go into chasing one off, one, two, one, two, one after the other, and then I try doing the crossing as well. So left hand on top, back to skipping, right hand on top, back to skipping, left hand on top, back to skipping, right hand on top, back to skipping. And if I put all of those together, 
with, without doing too many skips on each side like this. I go cross and cross and cross and cross. Fantastic. So that is the beginning of the basic poi moves. There's one more thing we'll ta try and tackle now in this video, and that is to try and make kind of propellers with your, um, with your, your, with your poi. So when I'm, when I'm doing the skipping, remember, remember the, I've got like a glass wall, a corridor on either side of me. For the next bit with the propellers, I'm just gonna turn the glass corridor this way, so the walls are going this way but I'm going to turn back to face you. So it's like the, I'm now looking into the glass corridor. So when I do my propeller, it's right here. Just like a little propeller, aeroplane propeller spinning in. And, and, the, and the poi is coming down inwards that way like that. There we go. That was my right hand and my left hand. Put them together. Propellers, nice. So now, can I bring, this is pretty tricky, can I bring my propellers together and put them together into just one propeller? Let's try that. One hand has to go on top. There we go. They meet in, the hands have met in the middle, but the propeller keeps going. One hand might be on top of the other one, or it might be side by side. And then apart again. And now we're gonna put them back, put them back into a propeller, and this move is called butterfly. It's a bit like this, it's the wings of the butterfly. So there's the wings of the butterfly, and they fly there and behind my head. Now, how on earth am I doing this? Well, I'm kind of taking my hands from in front to behind my head, in front, behind my head, in front, behind my head. It's a bit like you've hidden some chocolate in your sock drawer, okay? And it's right at the back, and there's loads of socks in the way. And you've got to um, you've got to get to the chocolate before your little brother or sister comes and steals it. So you're throwing socks out of the drawer over your head. Grab a sock, throw it over your head. Try it. Grab a sock, throw it over your head. If you were to do it together, that's a bit like the move of the butterfly. Let's grab the socks and throw it over your head. Th grab a sock, throw it over your head. Grab your sock, throw it over your head. Grab a sock throw it over your head, but what happens if you want to do it even faster, you grab a sock and throw it over your head, and then your other hand grabs a sock and throws it over your head, so you're going like this. Now, if I put this move into the butterfly with the poi, we should get something like this. So here's the, here's the butterfly, and grab a sock, throw it over your head, and we should get this kind of move happening. Grab a sock, throw it, grab a sock, grab a sock, grab a sock, throw it over your head. And we should get that kind of move happening. Um, so what have we done there? We started with propellers, we moved them into butterfly, butterfly behind the head, and then one in front, one behind like this. And if I can do this, if you get, this is really tricky poi actually, if you can get this move here, you'll find it's not too difficult to also do it down around your hips or your waist. It's not too difficult to diff do it with your arms bent like this, side to side, or with your arms straight like this. It's exactly the same move. One in front, one behind. Back to, <laughs> bash my head up. You'll probably find you bash your head a lot. One in front, one behind, one in front, one behind, one in front, one behind. Okay. So so that's quite a lot to be going on with. Oh, and, but one more thing is as you get better with the poi, we're really jumping ahead here. We're really jumping to some tricky stuff. You can begin to change your body. The, remember the glass corridor. You can begin to change the glass corridor and your whole body with it as you begin to do the move. So if you've got the, if you get butterfly going and then you get one in front and one behind going, if I change direction now, you'll see I've gone into the position where we were earlier, where one poi is going forwards and one poi is going back. And all I've done is change my body through 90 degrees. So if I come back towards you, I can go straight back into butterfly position. So try moving your body around as you do these moves and just see if you can make the poi flow happily. 
There I am, I've changed the other way, one forward, one back, and I come back to butterfly, and then back this way. And back to butterfly, and this way. Good luck. Remember, the more you practice, the, the better you'll get. Here I am, I'm, just before I go, one more quick thing, yeah, is um, here I am threading the needle, okay? It's a bit like the butterfly, in buff propellers into butterfly, but the hands stay still there. Here I am threading the needle. It's a bit like I'm playing one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Um, but with those butterfly poi happening at the same time. Let's put that together and see if it'll work. Coming in. We we're about to finish and then I thought of threading the needle. There we go. So there's butterfly and then one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato more. Thank you for watching and good luck.